climate change is happening. Countries around the globe are already experiencing the consequences. One of these countries is Mozambique. Here, farmers are coping with extreme weather conditions, increased temperatures, and droughts, resulting in failed harvests. This impacts the food security of millions of people and leaves them in vulnerable positions. Luckily, there are a lot of initiatives that combat climate change and make agriculture more resilient for smallholder farmers. One of these is the Apsin Valley project in the Zambezi Valley in Mozambique. Apsin Valley is a project implemented in Mozambique in the Tet, Maniyaka, and Sofala provinces. Their goal is to increase water productivity and food security through climate-resilient agriculture. The project has been implemented for the Zambezi Valley Development Agency by Resilience BV, Hub and Future Water, and funded by the Embassy of the Kingdom of the Netherlands. Since 2018, the project has been working on good agricultural practices, water management, irrigation, markets, and nutrition to strengthen the small-scale farmers' production systems. Extraordinary about the approach of Absin Valla is putting the farmers' needs at the center. The intention is to catalyze a process called farmer-led irrigation development, a process that is characterized by farmers who take the lead in their own development, by making use of opportunities in the market and by using the technology, knowledge, financial, and resource potential around them. Protecting them in the short and long term, instead of assigning and predefining a certain intervention, Absin Valla designs the interventions in collaboration with the farmer based on the production system's characteristics and potential. This leads to a sustainable development path of which the farmer is the main driver. An additional strength of Absin Valla's method is that it takes the effects of climate change into account. In Mozambique, climate change will most likely have several effects. The dry season will become hotter and longer. Also, extreme weather events, such as heavy rainfall, will occur more often and be more intense. For example, in 2019, two tropical cyclones destroyed over 700,000 hectares of crops. Due to climate change, cyclones like this are likely to increase in intensity and frequency. Therefore, we did a research project to estimate which interventions work best and make farmers most resilient to climate change by comparing applied interventions to the crop yield. In general, especially high-cost and location-dependent interventions increase the farmer's yield the most. As an illustration, we can look at the soil humidity sensor that has been used by Absin Valla. This sensor decreases the water usage, leading to lower production costs and reduced labor requirements. Interventions that are linked to the irrigation season, like the soil humidity sensor, have a higher probability of working effectively. During the irrigation season, farmers have more control over their production and generate a higher income per hectare. The use of interventions in this season is thus more reliable. This leads to more willingness to invest in this season, which makes the production more resilient. Farmers make an investment when they want to use the sensor. They are encouraged to make investments that are realistic and convincing. It is important to focus on sharing experiences and farmer-to-farmers learning. For example, a farmer can be convinced to invest if users of the soil sensor present their business plan showing that the investment will pay back in one season. This leads to the selection of interventions with a high chance of success making it likely that the investment will pay back. This is necessary to reduce the economic risk of investing as much as possible as farmers cannot afford unsuccessful investments. The investment has short-term benefits. It also helps farmers to be more resilient to climate change. Farmers will use less water, but they will also be informed when more irrigation is required. This is important as climate change will make the current weather extremes even stronger. Hence the interventions that are the most resilient now will probably be the most resilient in the future climate. In this way, by focusing on the day-to-day -day changes that farmers are dealing with, they will be more climate resilient both in the present and in the future. The Absin Valla project shows that the identification of a system's needs together with the farmers is a good way of working towards improved climate resilience both now and in the future. This shows the need to take climate change into account when helping farmers. This can be done most effectively through the unique approach of Absin Valla where the farmers' needs are central, which in turn catalyzes the farmer-led irrigation development.